Hey guys, Mr. Dalek JD here. We've got a brand new zombie preview, so let's watch it and then we'll go talk about it. Oh my Jesus God, people. Alright, let's go look at this again and see if there's anything that we can spot that is a little bit interesting. So that screenshot was a bus in the end and we get this sign here and it is of a, a skull with uh, bones in it and that obviously means that warning, do not go here, hazard, very, very dangerous. I have absolutely no idea what they were saying. Someone says, they think it says there they are. Who knows? If you know, let me know. And people are saying there is no driver, but can you see a shadow? If you play this really slowly, it looks like Rick Toffin is wearing the same hat as Rick Toffin. So the bus stops. This is the bus stop right here. As you can see, if you look on the ground there, completely lava. It's completely ruined. And this bus is very, very old and gritty. As you can see, no one is in this place at all. And what I believe is that this is a bus that will take you somewhere around the map, but it's not something that you can physically drive, it just takes you. And here we've got the zombies, and as you can see here, the zombies are crazier than ever. As you can see, they're running at you so fast. You can see some manage to grip onto the bus and actually tear down windows, which is crazy. As you can see here, the, the zombie is attached to the bus in a really strange way. And if you notice, the zombie's eyes are blue, which means that Richtofen is taking control of the zombies, which means that we are continuing on from the Black Ops 1 storyline, which is awesome. Why are the zombies dressed up like this though? So if you look at Shangri-La, they were dressed up like that because that was the people that used to live there, the real, yeah, that's the uh, cl clothing that they used to wear before they turned into zombies. So why are the zombies wearing this? It kind of gives a little bit of insight into what what happened and what, how the people became zombies. Something that is really, really striking straight away is that when you're in this bus, you are not safe at all because the zombies will come for you no matter where you are. And I think this bus is a, a sort of transportation, a way like Ascension had the Lunar Landers. I think this is a way to get around the map because I'm sure this is going to have tons of sections. We've seen uh, bits of a town and I'm pretty sure there'll be other parts of the map as well. And so just be wary that this bus is not secure at all. Okay guys, let's look again at this trailer slowed down a bit. So as you can see, the bus takes this route. You can see there's a building on the right with windows and possibly like a bit on top. It means we might be able to be playing in that. As you can see though, the place is absolutely destroyed. Kind of reminiscent to the poster of the girl holding the shotgun, which will be revealed in time. Now seriously, that looks like a shadow of someone driving the bus. But again, I we can't really say for certain. As you can see, the floor... There's a crack there and there's lava coming out of it. This place is absolutely destroyed from that meteorite. XP-79 is something really interesting that I want to talk to you guys about very, 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 very quickly. The XP-79 was actually a prototype World War II plane, except the plane did not crash. The pilot became missing and he was found weeks later talking about unexplained problems of the last decade. That is interesting. As you can see there, there's a teddy bear, which means the mystery box location is going to be there, which means we can play in this area happily. As you can see there, the bus spins around, and you can't actually see anyone driving the bus, but you can see some sort of shadow, but it fades in just as you actually get to see someone, which means, will we... will there be someone controlling the bus or will we be controlling the bus? I believe that we won't be controlling the bus, and that either some sort of presence will or I have no idea as you can see that the splatter of blood resembles the shotgun of the girl and another thing I want to point out is what happens at the end you see that little sucker in the top right there can you see him running towards let's play in slow motion and I'll zoom in just so you can see what I'm talking about there you go you'll be able to see him right now he's running towards the bus at an incredible speed I'm not sure if the zombies are more faster in this than compared to Black Ops 1 but I believe this is one of the new zombies from the uh, the sound file that they released the other day the attack one I believe that is the sound from this zombie running towards the bus 
So there you go, guys. That's my little analysis breakdown of the preview. I can't wait for next week. It's going to be so awesome. And you could clearly see someone wearing a Richtofen hat driving that bus. Treyarch, stop trolling us. I can't wait until we actually see the whole premiere and have some answers for the questions we have from this video. I am so, so, so stoked. And I hope you guys are too. If you want to stay informed and you want to see that worldwide premiere, it should be on my channel as soon as possible next week. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys soon. The zombies are running for your ass, so you better run.